Hi, I'm Helene Gale, President and CEO of CARE. I'd like to introduce you to CARE's work and the people at the heart of our mission to fight global poverty. We'll journey around the world and meet women and girls who are working with CARE to build better futures for themselves, their families, and their communities. Now I'm often asked why CARE focuses on women and girls. It's not as if poverty doesn't affect men and boys too. But when we shine a spotlight on women and girls, we reveal the patterns of discrimination and inequality that hold whole communities back. CARE's goal is to see all people everywhere living free from the shackles of poverty. And our six decades of experience tell us that when a woman speaks of improvements and new possibilities in her life, she's speaking about change for everyone around her. It's nearly universal. Women who have had the opportunity to learn value education for their children. Women who earn their own income invest in their families. And women who are healthy can participate more fully in their societies. CARE recognizes that there are three key windows of opportunity in the life of a woman or a girl when the right support can yield lasting benefits for her and everyone her life touches. Take a look. Poverty is the single greatest challenge facing the global community today. Poverty is a lack of power. It's a lack of hope. It's not seeing what your future can be. The face of poverty is a woman. A woman who lives in a house made of mud or grass or sticks, who rises at four o'clock in the morning to fetch water. She's a woman in threadbare clothes, a woman who needs our help. One of the best ways that we can end global poverty is to put power into the hands of the people who can really make a difference. Focusing on women enables us to really get at the root of poverty. If everybody was starting from the same starting line of the race, we'd focus on both boys and girls. But in many cases, girls have many more obstacles or barriers to overcome, even before they get to the starting line. We are creating a pathway or a route to getting them out of poverty so that they can become empowered. We can't just look at one segment of a woman or girl's life to really affect change. We have to look at the various stages of a girl and a woman's life and really follow her through her journey. What is it that we can make the biggest difference on? We've identified three signature programs that we think we have the credibility, we have the capacity, and we have an obligation to actually take these programs to something much bigger. Pick any moment in your day and stop and realize that a woman just died from childbirth. We are trying to make pregnancy and delivery safe for 30 million women and give their children a healthy start to life. There are 77 million children who are out of school. About 60% of those are girls. We seek to ensure that 10 million girls are able to complete primary school and that they have the kinds of skills that they need in order to be leaders in their communities. It's really taking education a step further, not just providing education, but empowering the use of education. CARE is the largest provider of financial services in Sub-Saharan Africa. We have 1.2 million clients. Over the next 10 years, we would like to reach 30 million people. The economic benefits will spill over and provide a tipping point. By bringing them out of the shadows and into a place where they can voice their concerns and demand their rights, it makes a difference for everyone. A woman then is empowered to see the horizon. A woman is able to see beyond her household and beyond her community. Then we start to build a movement that makes a difference in, in the lives of not only the people in developing countries, but in my life, in your life. CARE has always been a leader in the fight against poverty. CARE has always provided innovative solutions, and I think this is just one of CARE's innovative solutions. Success, success. Success. It's just bringing that community together to prioritize a woman's life. Well, I think it means a completely different Africa, a different face of Africa. It looks like that young girl that gets an education and becomes a member of parliament and develops policies that help her community to, to get into that pathway to success. Here's what we can bring to the table. What can you bring? 